Greetings and welcome, my name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and in this part of Learning Game Maker from Scratch, we are going to be looking at something called comparisons. It is a way of comparing one set of data to another. Formally, they are known as relational operators, okay, so if you see that, it's comparisons. Now, some of these symbols I imagine you will recognize from your math class. Uh, here are the examples that I've got. You have this alligator symbol, which is a greater than symbol. You have a less than symbol, you have some equal signs. This last one is a little confusing, and we'll get to that in order. I want to go through and, with you, say whether these are true or false, all right? So, 10 is greater than 5, so the number on the left is greater than the number on the right. This is a true statement. Next one, 1 is greater than or equal to. So is the number on the left either bigger or the exact same as the one on the right? This is false. Now we come down here, and I have a question mark beside this one because it's kind of a trick question, all right? Bob is less than Aaron. Now, how do you define less than? When you're comparing strings, there are a couple different ways. You could add up their values, their ASCII values, and then see that number, is that number bigger or less than the other one? You could be comparing it just alphabetically. Does this num does a string come before this one in the alphabet? There are different ways to compare strings, and when you are doing it, you want to make sure that you know how you want it to be compared so that you get the result you're expecting. Here, it could be true, or it could be false depending on how it's compared. So for now, let's not worry about that, okay? Uh, coming down to the next one, 182 is less than or equal to 182. Well, that's, that's true, it is equal. Uh, this here is the equality check. One equal sign, like up here, is for assignment. So we are assigning the variable my name with the data Aaron. Here with two, we are checking to see if the data on the left is the same as the data on the right. And in this case, it is true. And the last one is not equal. That's what this sign is right here, okay? Uh, the exclamation point is a way of abbreviating false. You can put it in front of a lot of different places when you're programming to make it so that something is not true. So this reads B does not equal B, which is false because B does equal B in this case. This statement is not equal, okay? It's confusing at first. The more you do it, the more you'll get it, all right? Last thing to note when you're comparing is you need to stay within the same data type. If I try to compare my name to my age, you're gonna get a weird thing. First, we need to do something with it, so let's do a message, because I've already put the object in the game. So let's run this and see, does my name, is it greater than or equal to my age? Well, you're comparing a string, remember, versus an integer. So zero means false. In a Boolean, you can put zero or it can be one. One would be true. Zero is false. Okay. If that's false, then that means that this must be true. If we reverse it, right, my name isn't greater, which means my name must be less. Well, it's not. When you compare different data types, you have to specifically say how they are going to be compared because GameMaker doesn't understand how that works. If you wanted to compare these two, you'd either need to convert my age, which is an integer, to a string, or you would need to convert the string my name into an integer somehow and then compare them. Okay? You cannot compare across data types like this in GameMaker. You will not get the result that you expect. So that's what I've got for comparisons. I am super stoked because now that we have these base primitive things out of the way, the next part that we are going to start doing is real game creation. We are going to learn how to control the flow of a game. And I'm stoked for that, so I hope you'll join me. Uh, that's all I've got for you, though. So have fun making great games, and I will talk to you later. Hey there. Uh, I've got a Patreon, if you didn't know. If you'd like to support me, that would be great. 
up on the screen are the people who are pledging enough to get their name in the credits. They are helping fund this YouTube channel, which is awesome. I just want to give a shout out to them and all that they do to help me do this. It's great. If you would like to join, uh, you can click on the link at the end of the video or in the description below. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.